Coming up today, we blast across the length of South Korea on board its fastest train with the country's excellent private high-speed train operator. Let's go and check them out together. Hello and welcome back to South Korea. This is my second video from here and today we'll be travelling between the country's second largest city Busan and its capital Seoul. Opened in 2003 is the southern terminus of the Gyeongbu High Speed Railway which links these two cities in just 2.5 hours. Tickets can be bought from the moderately sized staff ticket office just inside the main entrance. or you can use the many automatic machines which are very easy to use and all have an English option. Be aware though that only some of these take international payment cards. The main concourse and waiting area has a large selection of shops and eateries, plenty of seating, an information desk and clear signage in both Korean and English. Our train today is the SRT 330 service from Busan to Seoul Susio, which departs at 12.10. Busan station has 11 platforms which are all accessed through this glass door. There are no ticket or security checks before you're allowed down to the platforms. There is step-free access available to all platforms by stairs, escalators and lifts, as seen here. SRT, or Super Rapid Train, is a private high-speed operator in South Korea, which has 32 Hyundai Sancheon trains. These 305 km per hour high-speed EMUs have articulated Jacobs bogies, which helps to reduce weight and they're also much safer in the event of a derailment, reducing the concertina effect of the coaches. They are formed of a power car at each end, one first class and seven second class passenger coaches in between them. Wheelchair boarding is provided by this platform based movable lift. Speak to station staff if you require assistance. The accessible toilet and three regular and two electric wheelchair spaces are all located in coach one. This is first class, located in coach three. It's in a 2 plus 1 layout and is where we'll be sitting today. 
I just love the colours and ambience of the cabin, it's very stylish. Smaller bags and cases can be stored in the aeroplane style closable overhead lockers. Larger cases can be stored in the many luggage stacks found in the vestibules. Let's check out our route today to the South Korean capital. We depart on time at 12.10. The route to Seoul Susio is 400 kilometers and is scheduled to take us 2 hours and 42 minutes of travel time today, arriving at 14.52. The fixed price for a single adult ticket is as follows. First class, 76,300 Korean won. Second class, 52,600 Korean won. There are no discounts for online or early booking for this train. SRT offer 40 return trips per day, and I think these prices are really great value considering the speed, comfort and value that this train offers, especially as South Korea isn't a particularly cheap country. If you want ad-free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews, then become a channel member from just £1.99 per month. Just click the link above now or in the description of every video or the join button below. Thank you! The ride quality is also very good, with these trains providing an ultra smooth journey. I was very impressed. This is one of the slower SRT services which makes seven intermediate stops. Some services only make two stops in Dongdaegu and Daejeon and complete the trip in 2 hours and 14 minutes, around 20 minutes quicker than us today. Ulsan is South Korea's seventh largest city, with a population of 1.1 million and is the country's industrial powerhouse. Let's check out the seats. They are very well padded, have a good shape and have winged headrests with head cushions and adjustable armrests. They also recline a good amount. This is controlled electronically using this button. The entertainment system controls are located in the armrest, however I couldn't test these as I didn't have any wired headphones on me. There is also plenty of legroom, an adjustable footrest, a seat back literature pocket and a small but sturdy tray table. Each pair of seats has access to two plug sockets, one on the seat in front and one in between your own seats. Korea uses 220 volt standard European style sockets. Up above your head, you'll find some coat hooks, individual reading lights and very effective sun blinds on the windows.
All seats are reversible, so can be positioned in the direction of travel or to face a travelling companion if preferred. With the mountainous terrain in this region of South Korea, much of the high-speed line is on viaducts or in tunnels. There are eight toilets spread throughout the eight coach train and these are gendered male and female except the accessible one. These were stocked up throughout the trip, fully working and pretty clean. There is also a handy map on the back of the tray table showing where all the facilities are located, including defibrillators. There is also free Wi-Fi available throughout the train, which worked well and was of good speed. We are now approaching the eastern station in Daegu, which has a population of 2.5 million, making it the country's third largest metropolitan area. Many ancient settlements have been found in the local area, which date back well over 3,000 years. All SRT and CoRail, which is the competing Korean national operator high-speed services, call at Dongdaegu Station, making it the city's principal station over the more centrally located Daegu Station. While we're stopped here, let's take a look at second class on these SRT Sancheon trains. It's laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration with these plush red fabric seats which offer good legroom, slightly winged headrests, adjustable armrests and power sockets. While there is no dining car or buffet on these trains, there is a drinks and snacks vending machine in coach 5, but this only accepts cash, but both coins and notes. We are now in Daejeon, South Korea's technology and research hub, with the city being home to an amazing 23 universities. It is also a major transport hub in the country for many major arterial road and rail routes, being conveniently situated just 170 kilometers south of Seoul city centre.
check out my video on South Korea's impressive brand new high speed train, the KTX EUM, click the link above now. All onboard announcements are made in Korean, with the important ones being repeated in English too. It may not be ultra scenic, but there are still some gorgeous train window views to appreciate. We are now approaching the end of today's journey, so let me take a moment to summarise the trip from Busan to Seoul Susio on the high-speed SRT Sancheon service. I'd highly recommend it. It was fast, comfortable, clean and great value for money. A really great service. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my review on SRT's competitor, South Korea's original high-speed train, the French TGV-based KTX, on this same route but in the opposite direction. Susio Station is 12 kilometers to the southeast of Seoul city center, but it is well connected by the city's metro which takes around 30 minutes travel time. Have you been on a train in South Korea before? Which route did you do and how was it? Leave me a comment below. By the way, I'm always open to new video ideas, so leave me a comment or a DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.